First time I ever went dungy fishing, I think I was eight or nine, went out with my dad and uh, my dad's best friend, boat rolled over and the Coast Guard chopper spotted two bodies. So they, they had us go pick them up. <laughs> so we went and picked up two guys. They put them in totes. I remember it to this day. My dad told me not to go back there and look at the dead bodies. <laughs> it's not a sight an eight-year-old should see, but of course, of course, what am I gonna do? Went back and looked, I remember that. The face was all pitted in. I've only been in the water like, I don't know, I think it was 12 or 14 hours. <laughs> it was gross, you know? It's just, my dad always tells me, it's just something you deal with. You can't let it affect you. You can't let it stop you, no matter what happens. <laughs> I never did find the other two. They were lost, and one of them was my best friend. John was on the boat. He saw it with his own eyes as to what can actually happen in the, in the, the real world. My oldest boy couldn't understand what happened, and he never went on the boat again after that. It's a horrible thing to, to have to see that, especially at a young age. And it just kind of cemented John as to, hey, I know the weather was terrible. I know what can happen. I'll deal with it. And uh, he, de he dealt with it. <laughs>